Alright guys, this is Game Hunter with a rather large pickup today. A bunch of small to decent sized pickups adding up to large. Start here, picked up some Resident Evil Blu-rays and Steelbooks, Afterlife, Retribution, and a DVD set for all of them. Besides the la the newest one, haven't seen all of them so I figured I'd get that until I get the Steelbooks of them all. Picked up off a Facebook Marketplace group a copy of Final Fantasy VII with no manual. That's five bucks. Picked up in a trade Resident Evil 4 Premium Edition. A little frustrated. He didn't tell me there was damaging right up top, right there. I knew there was damaging on the inside, but he didn't tell me about that. So besides that, really clean. Still kind of frustrating there because I did trade down. You can see a little bit more there. I did trade down in value. Um, Traded him probably a $45 game for a $35 game. Such frustrating. But, oh well. Game I've been wanting to put in the collection. Pick up from Anthony for 40 bucks. Also, Resident Evil Deadshot, which I got to pick up later. He didn't. He had it at his house. Resident Evil 4 on GameCube Complete. Saw 2. Flesh and Blood. I believe... I'm looking over at my shelf right now. Do, 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 do. I don't see it over there, but I believe I had the first Soul game, and I think there's only two, so I think I have both Soul games now. But I'll take a further look at that later. And Resident Evil 6, so pretty solid deal. Four games that are all over $10 for a $10 piece. So some from GameStop today, it was on sale for 40 new. Sucks the artwork is a little off there, but I'm not going to open it. I'm going to get a copy to play on PS4. I'm going to keep a sealed copy. I'm going to keep this with the Call of Cthulhu on Xbox. GameStop's in my area. I got like one to two of those. So I'm thinking it's going to become a common. I just want to keep the sealed one and throw it back to the original one. I'm going to keep it on original Xbox. I also picked up Resident Evil Revelations, Resident Evil 5, and Revelations 2. The reason I picked those three up today at retail was I was looking, it's Pro Day, I was looking at a previous Pro Day ad that said buy two, get one free. So I picked those three up thinking it was that way. Didn't realize it until after I paid that they weren't, but oh well. 40 bucks from Robbie's booth. Picked up Resident Evil Raccoon City, which I don't think I have on 360. I'm looking now. Sorry for the constant pausing, guys. I'm looking. Yeah, I don't have on 360, which is awesome. Fear Files, which I didn't have this one for the Fear Collection. Fear 3, which I didn't have this for the Fear Collection. Uh, I think I just need Fear 1. Yeah, I just need Fear 1 now. And then Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare Limited Edition. I paid 40 for the 3. Um, he was at 30 on that. And then 5, 5, and 6 on these. So instead of doing 46, did 40 for me. Always hooks me up. At another GameStop, I picked up Deadly Premonition. Complete for... Ended up being like 7 bucks or 6 bucks. There was a GameStop that closed by me. And outside it, they had a 20% off sign. So... Went that and went to the nearest one. And then I picked up a pop of the Hunter from Resident Evil. As you can see, the 20th anniversary Resident Evil's pops. I want to get the whole series. <laughs> but the, this came out to like 7 bucks as well. So it was like 14 for the two. Then from Chris Swarm, I picked up... <laughs> we're going to post this in collectors. Uh, Resident, uh, New York City Ballet Resident Evil. Um, I was talking about, I was collecting all the variants. They pulled this out of a PS2, and they wrote that on there. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm actually going to sit it with my Resident Evil collection tonight. And the, first of all, if you guys haven't checked out this group, it's called Collectors of America. My buddy is the starter of them. Um, there's, for every group, for like every console, like Xbox, P PlayStation, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, stuff like that. And then there's one that's called Collectors of America Epicenter. I'm going to post my pickups in Epicenter, and then me and Chris are going to talk about how this is a great Resident Evil game. See if anyone just pays attention. Also picked up Resident Evil 6. I didn't have the Greatest Hits version. Resident Evil Origins collection. And Silent Hill 4 The Room. I actually just traded. I just picked up a copy. But this copy is cleaner. Plus the copy I had, I traded for... What did I trade for? What did I trade for? Um, two Japanese copies of Resident Evil, which should be here on Monday. So yeah, treated for those. So obviously Resident Evil comes before Silent Hill in my needs and wants, so made that trade. But uh, this video's going way too long. I can only make 10 minute videos. This is four minutes and 50 seconds. 
So this is going to be the intro to a, a video, and there's going to be one or two parts, or this will be the end. So then remember, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more. Alright guys. Right, guys, just a quick little video. So this was the Resident Evil Dead Aim that I picked up the other day. Uh, it came with the games, but I just was able to pick it up. It doesn't have a manual. I switched out the case. Anthony really gave me a great deal, but it looks like they shit on the case before they gave it to me. That was the case where I swapped it out with a ratchet and clank that uh, is untested. Rough shape. But the disc is in good shape and the artwork's in good shape, so this will be a solid copy until I get a copy with a manual or I get the manual separately. But anyways, stay tuned for more guys. Alright guys, this is my Game Hunter. So GameStop sent me a buy two get one free coupon. So what I do, I add more Resident Evil games. Resident Evil Revelations, now I have that on PS4 and Xbox One. Resident Evil 6, now I have Anthology, I have crap on 6. And Revelations 2, um, generic case, I don't know if it came with a manual, if so it doesn't have one. But I'm going to swap the case out for just a different PS4 game. So, solid pickups, paid 38 for the 3, so not too bad at all. Came out to like 12, 13 a piece, can't beat that. Now, I'm going to watch Resident Evil. <laughs> Stay tuned for more, guys. Alright, guys. Since night game hunter day, showing you guys a quick pickup. Get them all from Family Video. 59 bucks. Resident Evil Revelations. Was it 6? I said when they skin it in the system, it was only going to let them sell it at 10. 10 a little more than what it's worth, honestly, but it was a dollar and 30 cents more than what it's worth. I needed it for the collection and I was already there, so I figured it right out. Castlevania Lords of Shadows, six bucks. Typically goes for 12 to 15, so good pickup. Resident Evil Revelations was 10 bucks. I don't know if this came with any inserts. It's got the Nintendo thing in there. But once again, like a dollar more than it's worth. Actually, no, I think $10 may be exactly what it's worth, but I needed it. Bayonetta 2 with a bonus disc. Sadly, he had the two games separated. They would not combine them. They said the system was going to make them sell the other one for 10 so at that point in time, it really cuts into the profit margin, so I figured I'd get this, sell it as is without it. For 10 again, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, really solid. And 10 again, my second or third time picking up Game & Wario for 10 bucks from there, but it's dropped in value since last time. Last time I picked it up, it was like a $50 game, now it's like 30 so I'm going to get rid of these three, make as much of my money back as possible, pretty close to all, and then keep these three at little to no cost. So that's the goal. Stay tuned for more, guys. All right, guys, since I game winner again. So when I was at Anthony's store earlier, McFerrin, he showed me some doubles he brought in from his collection. And one of the doubles he brought in was an absolutely sick game in super clean condition. But, uh, after I picked everything else, when he showed me, I was like, uh, I want it, but nah. And then when I said about it, I was like, yeah, I want to get that. So I brought him some cheap PS4 games, cheap 360 games, and a little cash, and picked up this baby. Kadeka. I don't know if the camera does it any justice, but it is absolutely meant. I was joking with him because he said this is the worst of the two copies. I was like, your copy must look like it's never been touched. He's like, yeah, I'm nervous to touch to open anything because it's so meant. Look at that, guys. That's super clean, but picked this up for a really good deal. In really good condition, so that's awesome. 